Back here in the Bay and early this morning, Pleasant Hill saw its first homicide in almost two years. Police say a 37-year-old man was shot in the head after a fight outside Farrington's Bar. Our crime force Rob Nesbitt spoke with the city's police chief about the suspect still on the loose. Chief Scott Vermillion had an early morning Monday in Pleasant Hill responding to the scene of a fatal shooting that happened just after 1 a.m. He told me the victim's name but is still working to track down a suspect. This was the scene outside Farrington's Bar Monday morning in Pleasant Hill. Caution tape and officers surrounding the shopping center parking lot on Gregory Lane, just west of I-680 off Contra Costa Boulevard. Chief Scott Vermillion says witnesses on scene told police about an argument between two groups of people that turned violent. At some point they went out into the parking lot, an argument started, and during the argument some pushing occurred. Uh, Right at that moment of pushing, uh, the suspect pulled out a gun and shot the victim one time in the head. He says the victim is 37-year-old Oscar Laredo Ariano from Concord. Police have been called to the bar before for reports of fights, but the chief says this is a first. We've never had a, a shooting or homicide associated with that bar uh, for over the last 23 years that I've been here. This is the first homicide to happen in Pleasant Hill since August of 2021. Chief Vermillion says gun violence has become more of an issue in his city in the last two years, putting much of the blame on the manufacturing and selling of illegal ghost guns. The suspect at Monday's fatal shooting fled the scene in a vehicle before police arrived. Investigators are now working to get an accurate description of the person responsible. I will tell you that this is our number one priority and it's going to be our number one priority until we get this person in custody. Uh, somebody lost their life last night senselessly. It didn't have to happen, but sadly it did. Chief Vermillion says that witnesses were able to talk to police on scene, but he's still looking for more information. Anyone with information that might help lead to an arrest is asked to contact the Pleasant Hill Police Department. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.